students welcome to show of this classes so today we are going to solve the question of gk and for the general knowledge questions we have let's go through the question first so we have what is or are the main functions of rbi rbi okay first we have four options here okay the options are note issuance and in the second we have government's banker and in the third we have banker's bank and in the fourth we have bank's supervision so these are the four functions probable functions of rbi that we need to find out what will be the right one okay before going to the answer part let us go through some details of rbi okay so reserve bank of india or the rbi that is rbi is supreme banking authority of india supreme banking authority of india that is rbi and all the public or the private sector banks or financial institution in india are controlled by rbi and rbi is responsible for the note in issuance and for exchanging and for destroying of currency so these are the three main parts and rbi also act as merchant banker of central and state government maintains all the banking accounts in the scheduled bank it maintains all the accounts of the scheduled bank of scheduled bank and so rbi operate all the financial and banking operations in india as we can see from the options the note issuance and government's banking and the banker's bank and the banker's supervision all are done by rbi so the right option would be option d all of this and rbi does all the functions accordingly hello students welcome to show of says classes once again and we will move on to the next question so the next question is in india in india microfinance development and equity fund is maintained by whom so this is the question we need to find out microfinance and development and equity fund is maintained by whom for that we have four options here option a that is small industries development bank or that is sidbi and rbi in the next option that is reserve bank of india and in the third option we have nabard national bank for agricultural and rural development and in the last option we have cii 
or the Confederation of Industries in India. We need to find the right answer from these four options. But before going to the answer part, we need to find out a few details. Okay, now let me explain you a bit. Small industries and the Development Bank of India or it's known as SIDBI set up on April 2 and that is in 1990. This is a very important info. April 2, 1990. And the headquarters is, is in Lucknow. And SIDBI is playing the role for the growth and development of micro small and medium scale enterprises or as known as MSME in the short. So we can easily say the right option would be SIDBI. So the right option would be option A that is Small Industries Development Bank of India or SIDBI. So students, let's move on to the next question we have here. Okay, the next question is, which are the following rates that is decided by the RBI is called policy rate. So which are the following rates are decided by the RBI is called policy rate. We have four options here, cash reserve ratio and there is lending rate and there is bank rate and there is deposit rate. But before going to but before going to the solution we are going for a few details. Let us go through the details first. The answer would be cash reserve ratio. Let me highlight it for you. The answer is cash reserve ratio. But we need to understand what was the main reason for this correct answer. Okay, let's go to the explanation now. The cash reserve ratio is the funds that all scheduled bank have to maintain with RBI the Supreme Banking Authority of India. By increasing the CRR RBI drain out excessive funds from the scheduled banks. So for example, suppose you have the CRR is 5% and a person or customer open a savings bank, bank account with 10,000 in Punjab National Bank. So the Punjab National Bank has to park 500 rupees to Reserve Bank of India. So if we write CRR, let me change the color for you. It is not very much visible. Now the CRR is 5% and the, he has opened the account. The person with the account of 10,000 and he needs to pay the 10,000 to the bank and after that the bank has to park 500 rupees 500 rupees to RBI as per the CRR rate. as per CRR rate. So this is the thing that is cash reserve ratio. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.